So you found a need for parents who don't know about music, want to get their kids started, the band directors, the school programs, et cetera, and you're fulfilling that need. So you're, you're doing one of the core business principles, <laughs> which you either know consciously or not, but you are doing it. Um, so, you know, you're, you are giving back by what you're doing. I mean, a lot of times people say, well, what do, Jack, what do you do philanthropic? I say, I get up and I teach. That is my giving. And I also MC charity events. I write large checks and I do all that <laughs> as well. But I think just your being, just you doing you is giving. <laughs> but you're also involved in philanthropy. Tell us about how that got started for you and what you're currently doing about that. Jeez, um, you know what? They, uh, you know, they say um, time is money. Mm -hmm. and, and those who don't give time give money. And those who give money oftentimes think that their money is more valuable, so they don't give their time. So I think my quest, and, and your question, how do I have I given? I think, I think I received a lot more than I gave. I think that will always be the case. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just in, uh, in, uh, in, in high school, I've always volunteered. I've always volunteered. And, and I've always had a, a need to volunteer. And... Um, and, 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 and I'll tell you why. I, I, mean, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's, I would love to share with you what I'm doing, but I, I want to take a step back and share with you why, why, does, why does giving back matter to me? Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, why is giving, I mean, because I understand right now, one, one of the things that, that and now that I, I'm, I'm in the position where I can give, and I, I know a lot of people give, but they give strategically. I hate that. I really hate giving strategically. Don't give because it's a strategy. That's, to me, that's offensive. Don't ever, says Nathan, give strategically. What do you mean by strategically? You give because you care. Don't make it a strategy out of that. So I look at that, and the reason why, I'm, why it, it, it's, it's, it, it's important to me to not give strategically, but just to give. Because mom and dad, you know, I'll share with you, mom and dad would heal people. You know, heal people out of sickness. I mean, I'll show a quick story. The hospital could not cure a seven-month-old seven baby. Seven-month-old baby. Wanted to transfer this baby out to another hospital, but on the way, told the, the my parents to drop by my, my dad's home. Came. The baby was vomiting and having serious diarrhea, cannot drink breast milk, the lips was burning hot. When a baby happens like this, it's gonna die. But what, what, what dad did was he did three points on, on the left leg and immediately the baby was, was, was drinking the, 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 the mom's milk dry and saved the baby's life. I mean, that's just one out of 60 people he does a day. And all he charge, all he charge is either free or if you're wealthy, an egg price of an egg. And, and, and our family, like I share with you, is a hut of eight people. Does he, does, can he strategically price it? Of course, but no. He just wanted to do good. For some reason, my mom always told me this. He says, your dad is weird. He thinks everyone else is poorer than him, but he has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and so for me, it's just, it's just kind of like his sense of abundance, a sense of of, of, of gratitude for what is given to him in his life. For him, God gave him so much already. A wife that's so caring, that did not give up, give up on him. My mom did not give up on my dad. She waited and visited him, even though it's a month journey, visited him. Nine and a half years. That's, Nine and a half yeah. years. Take care of four kids. I mean, what a, what a great gift you already have. And then my mom, she didn't need to, you know, to, 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 she, she, she didn't need to overprice. I mean, she just did things just to help other people. And my mom was the one who just go out and help people resolve conflicts at the, you know, he, she, she's at a fleet market, right? But everywhere she goes, people ask her to be the conflict manager.